full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be of thy mercy. The Fifth Sorrowful Mystery The Crucifixion Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be in thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope, to thee we cry for the children of Eve, to thee do we send up our side this morning and leaving this valley of tears. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. That we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant and beseech you that they will take us upon these mysteries of the most. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Live Truth. Live Catholic. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray for God's blessing upon our work. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God and Son of David, we praise you. You taught us the value of human labor through your own work as a carpenter. Bless our labors and bring success to the work of our hands. Bring success to the work of our hands. May everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul, into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God in his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. Verbum Domini.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. Verbum Domini. Dominos Fobescum. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Lucum. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at that moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears. The infant, leapt, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of our Blessed Mother into heaven, body and soul. <clears throat> and we also give thanks today for 42 years of EWTN, that Mother Angelica founded the network in 1981, and with great faith and effort um, built the network and praise for the network to this day, I'm sure, from heaven. She is a, a model for us all in evangelization, Mother Angelica. And I think as a woman religious, and in her own life especially, she images this scene of the visitation we have in the gospel, that Mary goes in haste, that there was an urgency in Mother's life to evangelize, to bring Jesus to others. Now Mary just doesn't bring a word, so to speak, to Elizabeth. She brings the person of Christ, and I think Mother Angelica, women religious especially, image that church is bride, that spousal union that's bringing Christ himself uh, to others. So we give thanks today uh, for this great work uh, done here at EWTN. We see in the readings today, uh, the first one from Revelation at the end of chapter 11, chapter 12 here, we're told that God's temple in heaven was opened and the Ark of His Covenant could be seen in the temple. The Ark of His Covenant. The church places this reference to the Ark you know, in the celebration of Mary's Assumption because she is seen as the new Ark of the Covenant. You know, Revelation uh, speaks of Mary beautifully as the woman clothed with the sun, and there's also this theme of the Ark. You remember the Ark is where the stone tablets were kept of the Ten Commandments, the jar of manna, the rod of Aaron. And it was considered a visible sign of God's presence, that he's accompanying his people, you know, with Moses in the desert, into battle in the Promised Land. Later, they would bring the Ark, leading them into battle, looks like at Jericho. And also, you know, the Ark was kept in a tent before the temple was built. The cloud of glory would descend upon that tent of meeting and upon the temple. And then when the temple was built in the promised land and the Holy of Holies, the inner sanctum, the most holy place in that temple mount area where the ark was kept. It was the reason that it was the place of worship, God's presence there. It was the seat of his presence, yet there's still a, a hope for a fulfillment because the Jewish people has such a strong sense of the absolute transcendence of God that even Solomon, who built the temple 900 years before Christ, said even the heavens cannot contain the Lord, that the temple was his footstool, that his name dwelt there. And yes, the cloud of glory would descend, and these are expressions of his presence, but they, had, they were still waiting for the Messiah to cross the threshold of the temple. There was still a fullness yet to come. The ark also was a sign of his covenant, his bond with his people, that they were to obey the law, those 10 commandments written on the stone tablets, the word of God re revealing himself and his plan for our salvation. They are to keep that. And yet the, the history of Israel, there was failure in maintaining the covenant. Again, we needed a fulfillment. We needed a fulfillment of, 
fulfillment of that covenant. And of course, Jesus establishes the new covenant, the everlasting covenant that shall not be broken, established in his blood and his sacrifice on Calvary. And Mary brings us Jesus. God has made his dwelling in her womb, that the word has become flesh, fully God, fully man, dwelt among us in this preeminent way, fully God, fully man, in the womb of Mary. And he, she brings him to us. We see other parallels that David, when he, he was going to bring the temp, the ark to the temple, to Jerusalem, and he goes to the Jay and Hill country, like Mary did in haste to visit her cousin Elizabeth. We're told that David arose and went. We're told that Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah. David and Elizabeth struck, were struck by the same sense of awe and unworthiness, you know, before the ark and before Mary. David danced before the ark. John the Baptist leapt. He's filled with the Holy Spirit in the womb of Elizabeth. He leapt. He's like a, a dance with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that Mary was there and pouring forth through her, her unborn child. Mary stayed in the house of Zechariah three months and the ark stayed in the house of Abidom for three months as well before being brought to Jerusalem. And Mary, Elizabeth exclaimed in a loud voice when Mary came to her, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. It's the only time in Greek that that word is found in the New Testament, this exclamation. Five times in the Greek Old Testament, and it's always surrounding the ark. There's stories about the ark. And so it's, it's a word that speaks of glorifying the Lord. So Mary is the new ark of the covenant. And yet in all this, we see in her Magnificat in the gospel today that she, we see her humility, her lowliness. Pope Benedict would say that Mary's greatness consists in the fact that she wants to magnify God, not herself. That's God is drawn to her humility. She desires to be the handmaid of the Lord, following God's will, giving her fiat. At the Annunciation, Yes, she became a mother to us. Jesus had assumed human nature, so she's the mother of Jesus. She's the mother of us in a sense. There, St. Anselm would say that from the moment of her fiat, Mary began to carry all of us in her womb. But at the foot of the cross, she's explicitly given to us as our mother. That, that her motherhood is taken up caught up in that divine charity of outpouring of love on the cross for our salvation, a burning charity, that now her motherhood is taken up in the realm of salvation. Woman, behold your son, and behold your mother, John is told, and he takes her into his own, we're told. Technically, it doesn't say into his own home, but it's into your own. And it's a word, Pope Benedict would reflect that it's like his inner being into his very being. This is what John did. So we are called to welcome her deeply into our hearts. We see in that first reading that she is, the woman is clothed with the sun. So Mary in her assumption, she is inserted into the life of God, body and soul, in this extraordinary way. She's with God totally. She lives in God. She's surrounded by God's light, you know, symbolized by being clothed with the sun. Crowned with 12 stars, speaks of her kingship, her queenship, and the 12 tribes of Israel, prefiguring the whole people of God today, the new Israel. At Pentecost, she's in the upper room praying with the, the apostles that she has this role of, of working with the Holy Spirit in conjunction with the Holy Spirit 
that her motherhood is over all. We see the, the moon at her feet. And it's seen in scripture as a sign of the moon, as a sign of fertility, related to life and death and this cycle of waxing and waning, the full moon, growth, death, and birth. But Mary now has left all that now. She is left deaf, has, has left death behind. She's clothed in life. She's taken up into heaven. So we have testimony that love is triumphant, that faith is triumphant, that she is the model and pattern of holiness. She suffers no corruption. She's assumed to be more fully conformed to her son. She anticipates our resurrection. She is the model and pattern of holiness. These are all phrases from the, the papal bull on the assumption in, in 1950. We could say a human creature has made it, has crossed the victory line, a model and pattern of holiness. We see the victory of Christ in her. That victory is won in her. And the good news for us is that the heart of a mother, our spiritual mother, is in heaven, interceding for us. The heart of a mother that longs for the salvation of her children. You know, as we grow in faith, we're detached from the things of this world. St. Thomas Aquinas would say that faith purifies our hearts. And she is our model of faith. We are called to imitate her. At the Annunciation, she gives her fiat. At Cana, she intercedes for us, points us to Jesus. She appears somewhat in the public ministry, but it's at the foot of the cross, right? When Jesus gives her to us to be our mother and at Pentecost, that we see her preeminence. We see her intense, quiet, hidden faith. It's seen from that fiat, let it be done to me according to your word, to the foot of the cross where she's standing in faith. That faith is like a, a stream that's flowing in the gospel and it's flowing and growing in size, quietly, hiddenly, 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 but, but it's there. It's a model for us. Yes, she is in heaven, yet she is very close to us. On earth, she could be close to a few people being with God, in God, inserted in the life of God here through her assumption, she is close to us. Behold your mother, Jesus says. She comes in haste to us like she did to Elizabeth. We can see throughout the world, Marian sanctuaries and shrines, cultural expressions under various titles for Our Lady. She has visited us. She has come to us. She has come to us with the solicitude of this great motherly love and affection, guiding us to salvation. As John Paul II would say at Fatima, her motherhood means caring for the life of the child. That's what motherhood is. We have a spiritual mother, the heart of a mother in heaven, that's greater than all the collection of a, mother's, of a human mother's love in the world for us. So we are to draw near to her, to ask for her help. That that fountain of grace, one for us on Calvary, pours forth through her immaculate heart upon us. That she is the mother of the church. That she is truly guiding and interceding for us. This feast has been celebrated in the church for over a thousand years. We recognize Mary's role. We beg her intercession. We open our hearts to receive this grace from her. And she will not forget us. She will be there to console us and to guide us to heaven.
Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and for Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism of the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With gratitude to God for the divine mercy he has manifested to the world through the mission of EWTN, we now offer him our prayers. In thanksgiving for the most blessed sacrament, in which Jesus remains with us all days until the end of the world, and which remains the heart of the Eternal Word Television Network and the source of its fruitfulness, that all may come to know and love our Eucharistic Lord, who remains present with us in this wonderful way. We pray to the Lord. Lord in gratitude for the continual growth of EWTN, throughout the world and for the providence of God these 42 years. We pray that as St. Francis renewed the church in his day, that EWTN may continue to be the Lord's instrument of renewal for the church today. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayers. For all of the benefactors of EWTN, that the Lord bless them with even more in return and grant them everlasting joy. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all of the intentions sent to EWTN and for all of the needs of our EWTN family throughout the world, that the Lord in his mercy may grant them his divine assistance and consolation and hope in their trials. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For the poor Clares of perpetual adoration, who with Mother Angelica founded EWTN 42 years ago, that they may find great joy and lasting hope in the remembrance of the wonderful things that God has done in the past, and that the Lord continue to use them today as great instruments of grace and conversion for the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the Franciscan missionaries of the Eternal Word, who are dedicated to continuing the work of EWTN begun 42 years ago today, that they be granted by the Lord new gifts of the Holy Spirit for the building up of the body of Christ and the salvation of many souls. We pray especially for Father Dominic on his silver, silver jubilee of religious profession today. We pray to the Lord. Lord for Michael Warsaw and all of the employees who work for EWTN throughout the world, that they be given inspiration to guide their decisions, grace to strengthen their resolve, and a new fire of love for the glory of God, the good of souls, and their own sanctification. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for the blessed repose of the souls of all of the deceased benefactors, religious and employees of EWTN, that they all of us in the EWTN family may be reunited one day in the joys and glory of heaven. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of Hawaii and the recovery efforts there for all protection of human life. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, together with Our Lady Star, the new evangelization, we magnify your name for all of the good you have done for us, and we trust in your providence in the days to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands, for the grace and glory of the Savior, for our good and the of the Church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Dominus Fabiscum et cum Spiritus 
Sursum Corda. Gracias agamos, Domino Deo Nostro. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Herd ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, Estibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, en unitate Spiritu Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculo hordro. Amen. Pray Chapti Salitaribus Moniti, Et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere. Paternus servies in genis, sancti vicentur nomes tuum, pandemia regum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in genio. Quae sumus domini ab omnibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordia tu aduti, et a peccato simus semper liberti, et ab omni perturbatione se cordri, expectantes beatam spem, et aventum salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. Domine Iesu Christe, quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem relinquo vobis, pacem meum da vobis, ne respicias peccata nostra sed fidem ecclesiae tuae, eam quae secundum voluntatum tuam, pacificare a quadernare digneris, qui vivis et regnas in saecula saeculo hordrum. Pax Domini sed semper vobiscum.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord have mercy. Please say the word. All generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. Eternal Father, I offer up to Thee my intellect, that it may learn to know Thee alone. Sweetest Jesus, I offer up to Thee my memory, that it may remember Thee alone. Holy Spirit, Spirit of charity, I offer up to Thee my will, that Thou mayest enkindle and warm it by Thy divine love, Adorn my soul with thy seven gifts, and let me become thy pure temple. Fill me with thy grace, and prepare my heart to receive spiritually my God. Jesus, my God, as I am unable to receive thee sacramentally, do thou receive me into thy heart, and unite me so perfectly with it that nothing may ever be able to separate me, even for a moment, from thee. Engulf my misery and my nothingness in the abyss of thy mercy, that I, changed into thee, may henceforth live only for thee, by thee, and in thee. Come, therefore, thou my only satisfaction, come to take possession of this heart, which belongs to thee, and cannot live one moment without thee. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a short word to the EWTN family. You know, sister Regina passed away a few weeks ago. She was the first uh, sister to join here in Irondale uh, in the 60s and to persevere. And she had a long battle with cancer. And I was able to visit her a few times the weeks before her death. And, and I remember years ago her telling me, I asked her, what was the quality about Mother Angelica that most impressed you? And she said she was the most courageous person she'd ever met. And when I was visiting her, she said, you know, never be discouraged. You know, someone to tell that to the EWTN employees and the family, extended family. Never be discouraged. We are in, no doubt, trying times on many different levels. And there is suffering. And sister told me, she said, you know, if you share in Mother Angelica's spirituality, if you follow her, you are going to suffer. That's part of it. And that doesn't mean we did something wrong. That's redemption. That's the path of holiness, the path of the cross. I think the sisters and mother bore witness to this in an extraordinary way. We are called to follow and imitate, to not be discouraged, but to fight the battles we're given to fight. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Prayer for vocations. God our Father, who wills that all men may be saved and comes to the knowledge of your truth, we beg you to send laborers into your harvest. We grant them grace to speak your word with all boldness, so that your word may spread and be glorified, and all nations may know you, the only God, in him you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Americans, Mary, Mother of her innocent missionaries of eternal word, pray for us. The year 303 AD. It is the time of Emperor Diocletian's brutal persecution of Christians. Bishop Januarius of Benevento secretly visits imprisoned believers to console and strengthen them. However, Januarius is soon discovered and brought to the Roman governor, who demands that he renounce his faith in Jesus Christ. Januarius refuses. In 304 AD, the governor orders the beheading of the bishop and his companions. Eusebia, a Christian woman, gathers some of Januarius' blood into two vials, which are soon buried with his body in the cathedral in Naples. Three times a year, when this martyr's blood is placed close to his head on the high altar, it liquefies and turns red. The blood then solidifies again. The miracle of St. Januarius was first witnessed in 1389 and remarkably and inexplicably continues to this day. Steve, how do you handle the inevitable personal attacks? You're trying to debate the issues with somebody and they're calling you names and insulting you. Like uh, I'm a misogynist? Well, I tell these people that I just won't respond to personal attacks. I say, if you'd actually like to debate the real issues related to abortion, I'd love to discuss them with you. And I promise not to attack you personally. But if your best defense of abortion is simply to attack me personally, then I suspect you really have no legitimate arguments to make. And then I usually say, next question. for the release of those who are enslaved and for the conversion of all those who are involved. Together, let us pray the U.S. Bishop's Prayer to End Trafficking. Loving Father, we seek your divine protection for all who are exploited and enslaved, for those forced into labor, trafficked into sexual slavery, and denied freedom. We beseech you to release them from their chains. Grant them protection, safety, and empowerment. Restore their dignity and provide them a new beginning. Show us how we might end exploitation by addressing its causes. Help us to reach out to support victims and survivors of human trafficking. Make us instruments of your spirit for their liberation. For this we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We pray for EWTN, for God's blessing to be upon us, for his guidance and protection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the one life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need in our mercy. The glorious mysteries, the first mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. The disciples at Emmaus said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead us to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus. St. Paul wrote, If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not also give us all things with him? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? Is it Christ Jesus who died? Yes. Who was raised from the dead? Who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us? Who can separate us from the love of Christ? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. mystery, 
the descent of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must be in your mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the Ark of His Covenant was seen within the temple, and there were flashes of lightning, loud noises, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be known, and the world of God, and Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of our mercy. mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child, she brought forth a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It will us this day, our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, since now and shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all the souls to heaven, especially those who are most in your hands. of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us that we worship thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Dear friend, are you plunged into the despairing mindset of I can't? I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm not able to reach there. It isn't meant for me. On and on and on. You know that experience? <laughs> do you count your failures? The many times you failed? And you letting your sins and your faults take a hold of you and consume you? Such does no good to you, my friend. Such leaves you with less clarity to see God's gentle embrace and mercy and grace. I want you to embrace this word and speak it loud and clear. It's what St. Paul taught us. I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. God love you. God bless you. The following is an EWTN special presentation. God can seem pretty mysterious most of the time. We can't talk to him and get a direct answer. We can't see him. He is beyond us. So deep down, we're all longing for a God with skin on, a God that can relate to us, a God who is right here. God so loved the world that he sent his only son in human form to save us from our sins and to draw us into eternal life. And so we see in Jesus the fullness of the invisible God made visible. You'd think that if God was gonna enter into the world, he'd come with trumpet blasts, he'd be born in a palace. We would know, because we'd see his glory and his wonder. The story of Jesus is nothing like that. He's born in poverty, he's born in a stable, his parents are temporarily homeless, he's surrounded by animals, adored by shepherds. And so Jesus comes in poverty, he sets aside the glory of his divinity, and he enters into our human experience, empties himself out in order to redeem us from inside our own humanity. That's the wonder of the incarnation, the word made flesh, the invisible God made visible. Jesus in our midst, looking like us, being like us in all things but sin. And so if we seek to find God today, we don't have to go beyond the stars, we don't have to go to the mountains, we don't have to go to a different country. Just look for